Hello and welcome to iTunes. So I know you guys are excited and uh, learning at the right pace, right? Um, yes, and I'm also super excited to provide you all these sessions, right? Okay, great. Uh, so till now, what we have done is we have learned about provisioning Windows and Linux servers on Azure, right? Great. Now, um, and we have also learned about the NSGs and a bit of AHGs, right? So we have done quite a bit. Okay, great. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to take a step forward. Okay, we are going to configure the Linux machine as a web server. Okay, and then we are going to see what are the challenges that we are going to hit and how we are going to overcome all of them. Okay, great. So I'll see you in the session. Thank you. Welcome back to ITN. So let's look at in configuring the web application on our Ubuntu uh, server, right? All right, I'm on the portal uh, that is uh, Azure portal.azure.com, right? And this is the uh, resource uh, or virtual machine web server 01. This is our Ubuntu that is Linux based virtual machine, right? And out here we have the public IP address, right? And this is what we are going to use for um, connecting to the server over port 80 okay so first first what we'll do is first we have to log into the server and configure a web application on that server okay so i'll open uh, first i'll do is i'll copy this public ip address all right and then i'll uh, open putty and i'll key in the admin pa uh, user id at the rate and then control v that is a public ip address okay and then i click on open all right so now i've been prompted with uh, let me maximize the screen all right so for now uh, it is prompting me to enter the password so i'll key in my password All right, I hit enter and yes, I was able to log in. Great. Now, um, as we have seen in the early sessions, we have provisioned this uh, Ubuntu server from uh, Microsoft Marketplace, right? But having said so, we're not sure whether this image is updated, right? So how we're going to make sure um, that we, we are running the updated image? Well, we'll have to make sure by running the command. So for that, first I'll do is I'll log into a root admin password. So for that, I'll key in sudo hyphen i. All right, so now I am at root at web server zero one. So that means I'm now logged in with the super admin privilege, right? Great, now I'll have to make sure that uh, patches are up to date, right? So for that, I'll key in command sudo apt and then update all right yes so now what it is doing is actually trying to get um, all the updates and as we can see it has updated okay so great so now um, we have to move to the next level that is installing apache so for that sudo apt and remember guys so earlier we ran the command uh, to update now we are going to run sudo apt install apache 2 so that is apache version 2 and it says uh, after the operation about 6 mb of additional disk space will be used do you want to continue yes or no i'm fine so i click uh, i'm keying the y and i hit enter 
all right so it's now downloading and installing the uh, package uh, let's give it a moment till it completes the install right yes it's done great now let me clear the screen so for that i'll key in clear and it hit enter now what i need to do is we have we have done the upgrade update by uh, running uh, sudo apt update then we had installed the apache by running the command sudo apt install apache2 now we need to make sure if the apache is running or not right and so apache is your um, web server which is um, which actually is uh, part of our linux operating system so yeah that's the reason we installed apache okay great so now we need to make sure if our apache is up and running so for that i'll do sudo system ctl or in short uh, sudo system control all right so sudo system ctl status and then what apache right okay great So as you can see, it's active and running. Yeah, it actually gives the time also. <laughs> Super. Yeah, great. So it's up and running, and it's now ready to uh, listen on port 80. All right. So let's do this. Um, uh, let's actually, if we actually go to the URL with the public address, um, what sort of page we'll get? Yeah. So for Windows machine, actually, if you have this Windows server, right, and we install the IIS for a web application, then we can actually check by using the IP address of the machine. Right? But since it's a Linux server, and um, we need to know if it is listening or not. So for that, what we need to do is we need to uh, in the command C U R L curl localhost. All right let's go a bit up and see uh, let's scroll a bit up and see what's the output of it okay so as you can see it's showing as active and then down we'll get ubuntu apache 2 ubuntu uh, default page it works yeah so that means actually our Apache server is up and it will be ready to accept uh, traffic on port 80 and port 443 right um, for 443 we need to configure the certificates uh, which uh, we can uh, do it later but for this session we are actually looking at uh, port 80 okay great so now uh, let's see uh, the demo page of uh, what we are going to get as a demo page so let me clear the screen okay and uh, let me check what is the present working directory pwd so pwd is root so what i have to do is if i have to check on the uh, about the default page i have to go to var www html directory so for that what i'll have to do is i'll have to click on cd space forward slash war forward slash www forward slash html and hit enter all right now in that i'll key i need to find out what are the files that are there so for that what i'll do is i'll type ls that is short for a directory to do a directory and i see index.html file so this is the file which will be displayed uh, when we when we hit uh, to port 80 on on this IP address okay so let's do this let's actually go and find out what is there in uh, in this particular file right okay for that I'll have to do cat and then index dot HTML all right so this is the page what which you will get when you actually go to the um, 
IP address uh, and on port 80 so this is the web page sort of a design you will you're going to get right all right now um, let's check on the web URL if you are able to log in or not right so for that I'll uh, I already have copied this right I'll um, go to this page and uh, do control V and hit enter what do you think guys um, will we be able to connect now remember the concepts which we have learned in the last sessions right about NHGs and ASGs right NHG is a firewall and we have allowed port 22 to uh, to log into the server uh, on port 22 right uh, that is our SSH port but uh, for port 80 we have not yet allowed right yeah so it is definitely going to fail okay so let's do this let's go back to our portal a short out portal and if we need to allow port 80 traffic so for, for that well, what I'll have to do is I'll have to go to networking and then inbound rule what I'll have to do is add inbound rule and this time it is for allowing traffic on port 80 right so port twinge can be start because we want to allow uh, anyone who wants to access uh, our web page destination is any for now uh, we can actually define which particular IP address or uh, virtual network or uh, those things but for now we will leave it as add as it is destination port is 80 now in case if you want to design for HTTPS also what we could have done is we could have actually keyed in this way uh, so though we are not actually allowing the traffic for uh, HTTPS uh, what I mean to say was we are not configuring the web portal for Apache uh, for accepting um, uh, or displaying uh, the web page on HTTPS because that requires certificates and all but we can we are fine with uh, allowing the um, traffic coming in via port uh, 443 on on this web page right protocol is TCP action is allow let's scroll down priority is 310 so which is below um, 300 so we are fine with it because we are still above the other rules um, so we are fine with it and we know uh, that it is not going to get blocked by any other route so we are fine with it and uh, description or uh, HTTP port um, okay uh, sorry HTTP underscore 80 and we will give a small description um, to allow inbound web traffic on port 80 all right and then I click on add okay so uh, it's actually started working on creating the security rule okay let's give it a moment so it now she has, uh, shows that the rule is already created create now what happens now if we go on this page and I hit enter do you think it will work what do you think guys yay it works right so we got a, um, the home page of Apache so it says Apache 2 Ubuntu default page it works yep we man so we have configured our first web server um, that is on Linux uh, and it actually throws up all these good things right so that means our server is up and we are now having our web server application also up right but is it possible that if uh, I want to uh, modify this home page is it possible to do, do that all right let's look uh, let's go back to our putty session and see how we can modify it okay all right so we are back to our server and we are still logged in let me clear the screen all right now um, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we copy our index.html file so that we don't lose our default file right so what I'll do is I'll cop um, okay let me before that let me show you what is then ls so we just have one file right so 
I want to copy this file. Okay, so let me uh, create a copy of our index.html file, right? So for that, what I'll do is cp index.html to index1.html yeah right so if now if i do ls i get two files one is index.html and the another one is index1.html right so now let's modify our index.html file okay nano space index.html and i hit enter okay what i'll do is i'll actually uh, clear out all this text okay great now this is the code that actually i've already created uh, which i want to use as an output of the uh, home page okay so what i'll do is i'll do control c and then i'll do control v okay so i have updated the code for index.html file so i'll click on control s and then um, I'll exit out of it. So for that, I'll click, click on Control X. All right. So now, if you want to have a look at the content, so I'll key in cat index dot html. Right. So you can see the content what we had typed. If we are able to see out here. So yeah. So this is a small code, and uh, this is how it would look like. So let's have a look uh, on this page now. So we earlier we got this page uh, that was the home page or default page for uh, Ubuntu Apache server, right? Now since we have modified the index.html file, now let's do a refresh and see. All right, so we got a the new new page, right? Uh, that is Web Server zero one three six nine Pro IT. Welcome to Windows a short tutorial for beginners keep watching and keep learning right great so <clears throat> what we have learned in this session so what we, uh, we have done is we have first configured the um, web server on Ubuntu um, before that we actually made sure that the server is uh, up with the latest uh, patches and then we configured uh, with the Apache and we saw if Apache is up and running right um, then we check if we are able to um, go and uh, find uh, if the uh, if we are able to access the web page on our web server we fail on it so for that uh, to succeed we actually configured a rule to allow port 80 traffic on the server via the networking tab yeah out here and we created the inbound rule all right then uh, we actually added some more fun by modifying the codes uh, on our uh, uh, the default index.html file and uh, we actually updated the code as welcome to a short tutorial for beginners and all those things right and then we came back and did a refresh uh, we got this page right so with that uh, we end with the session Please do subscribe uh, by clicking on the subscribe icon and uh, click on the bell icon to get updates. Alright? Until next time, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.